Millennium Pancho Construction Incorporated. On April 1, 2013, CM Pancho Construction Incorporated has been awarded the project, Southern Tagalog Arterial Road Project, under Star Infrastructure Development Corporation, or SIDC, a joint venture with William Uy Construction Corporation. To attain the CMPCI's goal, quality, health, and safety above all else, the company makes sure that the entire manpower to be deployed are oriented every morning and that each equipment is fully conditioned and checked prior to its deployment on the designated work area. Nearly 700 manpower has been assigned to the project. They comprise of 20 engineers, which includes support groups like maintenance crew for equipment and plants, health personnel, and safety personnel. As for the equipment, more than 70 units of dump trucks has been deployed for various activities like quarrying, embankments, aggregates production, asphalt, and concrete laying. More than 40 units of heavy equipment were deployed as well, like for instance, all terrain crane, backhoe, loaders, bulldozer, grader, compactor, and others. CMPCI also erected its crusher plant with a capacity of 70 cubic meter per hour for the production of aggregates, concrete batching plant with a capacity of 80 cubic meter per hour, and asphalt batching plant with a capacity of 80 tons per hour to supply all the required materials for the project. Stage 1 is mainly for the rehabilitation and improvement of the existing 22-kilometer concrete carriageway and asphalt shoulder from Santo Tomas Exit, kilometer 60 to Lipa Exit, kilometer 82. It has improved the riding quality of the existing concrete carriageway by overlaying it with stone mastic asphalt. Stone mastic asphalt is a gap-graded hot mix asphalt surface course, composed of high-proportioning aggregates, fine aggregates, mineral filler, and bituminous material. Cellulose fiber is also added to the mix to absorb the excess binder and to improve the properties of the asphalt mix. To achieve early completion of the asphalt overlay of main carriageway and laying of very coarse asphalt at shoulder, CMPCI has deployed three asphalt paver to accomplish two kilometer of main carriageway daily and two kilometer of asphalt shoulder. Four crew of survey team, which is dedicated in survey works at stage one, to cope with the daily required prepared area for laying. Three crews of preparatory works are also deployed. Asphalt plant was being operated as early as three in the morning for heating of bitumen and batching of asphalt starts at 6 a.m. in the morning. Asphalt laying start 8 a.m. up to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. All activities are well synchronized to avoid delays and effect to the next activity. Stage 2 is about the construction of two-lane concrete carriageway northbound with a width of 7.30 and with a thickness of 0.30 meters, with an asphalt shoulder of 1 meter width and 2 meter width for inner and outer kilometer respectively. The construction started from kilometer 82 plus 110 kilometer 101 with a total length of 9 km, which is from Lipa City to Balagtas Tong Plaza. The structure of Portland cement concrete pavement has a strength of 600 psi for its flexural strength. The project made use of a concrete paver, producing a daily output of 350 meters to 500 meters, which aided in the acceleration of the said construction. Massive earth moving works has been executed for the embankment, sub rig preparation, sub base, and base course laying prior to the concrete pouring works. Other works done are drainage system and some miscellaneous items. To achieve a quality finish of concrete, straightness and evenness of the concrete is regularly checked by a design engineer using straight edge. The cycle of dump truck is closely monitored to avoid cold joint of concrete. The concrete pavement is properly curved and cutting of weakened joints are cut on time to avoid cracks. On-site laboratory is provided in which CMPCI Quality Control Group diligently monitor, 
check and test all materials being used by the project while being witnessed by consult. The project was declared substantially completed last September 30, 2014, ahead from the target date of completion by DPWH, which is on May 2015.